Erin was 17. One evening she developed a headache. She was at home by herself and from there when we got her to the hospital they found out that she had had a brain aneurysm. They came and talked to us and mentioned to us about her being an organ donor. It was hard to understand and believe that this had happened because she was so healthy and there was no medical issues. But we tried to get over that fact, our family, and say, you know, this is, organ donation is something that she would have wanted. You know, we had to focus on the positive of what she could bring. We have met Natasha. This is Erin's um, kidney and pancreas recipient. She's like my sister now, you know. <laughs> when I woke up from my transplant surgery, I can immediately tell that I was in good health. Um, I remember my mom coming in the room and she said, you know, oh my goodness, you look so bright. I was just felt like I had never been sick before. I think it's really neat to, to be able to see her and, you know, her bubbliness and her personality because I can't imagine Natasha being sick. I just, you know, see her as this happy, bubbly person just like Erin was. The day that I met my donor's family, I don't know um, how to react. I don't, I don't know what to say to these people. These are the people that helped save my life. I remember being really excited about it, but you know, a little bit nervous because I don't like to get emotional and cry and stuff, especially you know when I'm 19. And it's really no words, but you know, to say thank you for your, you know, the act that you've done and uh, and the life that you get, you've given me, because now I'm out able to enjoy my two kids and I can see them grow older. A year after my transplant, I went back to undergrad school, and uh, amazingly, I was on the dean's list, you know, 4.0 grade point average, and uh, once I finished that, I went straight on to um, graduate school, <laughs> where I now have a master's. <laughs> and so I knew that, you know, I'm like, oh, if, you know, this person can do all this, in the short amount of time that she lived, then I can at least continue what she started. I have both Aaron's picture and the letter from the family in a frame, and this is where I have my, you know, sometimes I have my moment in, you know, silence. I think don't take your organs to heaven. Heaven knows we need them here.